In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get your tax return faster and by following these simple tips and tricks can ensure that the money that is owed to you can make it back to your bank account quicker. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chase and this is a Payne Pictures Guide to Personal Finance. And before we jump into these tips and tricks, I'm going to talk about where you can actually find out what's going on with your tax return and what you can do about it. All right, so the first thing you need to do, going to have to do is to go onto the irs.gov slash refunds website and you can actually see on there where your refund is in the whole refund process. This will take you to the IRS website and it'll give you all the information that you need to go through this whole process. So you're really only going to need three different things to go into finding out what's happening with your refund. The first is going to be your social security number. The second is going to be your filing status. And then the third is going to be the exact refund amount that was given to you when you placed your refund. Once you have this information, you're going to go ahead and click the check your refund button. And that'll bring up a whole new web page where you can plug in this information and it will tell you exactly where it is in the whole process. Now, one thing they do say is that they do not want you to go through this process and not to use this particular tool if it hasn't been 21 days since initially filing your return. But if it has been 21 days, then they do recommend going ahead and utilizing this. And if you're still having issues, then at that time, you should go ahead and reach out to the IRS to find out what's going on with your tax return. And before we go ahead and jump into the tips and tricks, then we also have to talk about what exactly is a refund and why we even do them in the first place. So the tax return at the end of the year is basically going to be going over the amount of taxes that are due to the government due to the amount of income you have made on that fiscal year. And for the most part, for most play people out there, the employer is taking an estimated amount every month out of your paycheck so that you don't have to worry about having a big bill at the end of the year. So in an oversimplified version of what's happening right now, they're just going to be taking a lump sum every month and putting it together that way that you don't have to pay a big bill at the end of the year. So in the end, your tax refund is basically just the overestimated taxes taken out on a monthly basis, subtracted from what you actually owe the government, and that is the amount that comes back to you in the form of a refund. With the understanding of what a tax refund is, then let's go ahead and jump into the tips on how to get your refund faster. All right, number one in getting your tax refund faster is going to be using the e-filing system. When you file online, this does speed up the whole process, skipping the whole mailing in process and will allow you to get your refund earlier into the list and earlier into the line and then they can be able to process it faster and get it back to you through an electronic means. Another great benefit of your utilizing the online feature is that you can use the direct deposit feature and by doing that when they do process your refund they can directly deposit that into a bank account of your choosing therefore skipping the whole mailing process and mailing in the check and having to submit that and it just goes straight to your account. All right, the second way to get your refund faster is to make sure that you are actually doing your refund correctly in the first place. If you don't do it right the first time, then that will lead to delays and errors in the actual filing process, which will then cause a longer term uh, getting back your return. And then not to even mention that if you do do it wrong, then the IRS can actually charge you if you are late or if there is extra fees that need to be assessed. And if you're not paying them, then they're going to put interest associated with that. So because of this, I would recommend an online filing software like TurboTax, H&R Block, or even using the IRS free file system. Because if you utilize them, it does make it a pretty streamlined process and prevents any small errors that you might make if you weren't already going to be using some sort of software out there. This allows for a more automated process and will reduce any errors in the future. And by utilizing one of these websites, you can also go with some of their more premium features and that will allow somebody else like a tax expert to review your documents to make sure that you're not making any errors. All right, now the third tip that I was going to talk about is going to be not overpaying your taxes on a monthly basis in the first place. So if you don't overpay on a monthly basis, then you're not going to have to worry about getting a refund at the end of the year because you're paying a more appropriate amount on a monthly basis. So if you want your refund back faster and waiting for a faster return at the end of the year, you can get your money back little bits at a time by adjusting your monthly estimated taxes to be more appropriate to what you'll be paying. So in all actuality, at the end of the year, you don't want the biggest tax return possible. What you really want is the lowest return possible because that means that you have estimated your monthly taxes appropriately and not been giving the government a free loan, an interest-free loan. So the easiest way to go about changing your taxes on a monthly basis would be to talk with your employer or the finance office and to utilize them to have a more appropriate monthly estimated tax so that you don't have to be giving that government free loan. If you're looking for ways to 
file your taxes online for free with different processes, then I will put a link up above that you can utilize that I would highly recommend. That way you don't have to pay to pay to do your taxes. I hope you got some good information from this video. This helps you utilize and get your refund a little bit faster. And as always, I want to remind you that we are here from your first penny to your first million. We'll see you next time.